Hello again, everyone, and welcome to this week's Gospel Talk. We're going to be celebrating this weekend, wherever you choose to worship, on Saturday or Sunday, the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. I will read the Gospel that you will hear this coming weekend. I'll give you my thoughts on it, and then I'd like you to take your thoughts, listen to it again this weekend, and see what God is telling you. And remember, very, very important, your message is not going to be the same as anyone else's. There is no right or wrong message. So you listen, let your heart talk to you, and let God speak to you in his own unique way and give you your own unique message. So let us begin it. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee, but he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, the Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him. And three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Catharnum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, what were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent. They had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst, and putting his arms around it, he said to them, Whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What a wonderful Gospel in that it tells us of the humility of a child. Jesus basically is telling his apostles and us today that in order to enter into the kingdom of God, we must have the faith and the trust of little children. And we might ask, what does he mean by little children? Who are these little children? Is it possible for us to become children again? Well, of course, not physically. But if you think about how we were when we were little children, we were very innocent. We were waiting to be taught. We would sit patiently next to our parents or those that were speaking and just soaking up everything that was coming out of their mouth. We wanted to learn and we trusted what we learned from these people. And when we were little children, we had no preconceived notions about anything. We didn't look at color, we didn't look at creed, we didn't look at income, we didn't look at neighborhood, we didn't look at family. We took people and ideas for what they were. We had no preconceived notions that perhaps people were saying things because they wanted something in return. We never thought anything but that people, when they spoke, were speaking their truth and speaking their truth from their hearts. As we grow up, our vision of the world changes. We're tainted by the hustles and bustles of everyday society, the quest for wealth, the need for money to pay bills, to put a roof over our heads, to take care of our families, to feed them, to clothe them, to provide for education. We experience being misled, being cheated, being hurt. And that takes away that innocence that we had as little children. And it puts up a barrier to us. Instead of believing, we tend to question. 
we tend to doubt. And it's not that we don't want to believe. We just don't want to be let down again in case what we have believed all along turns out to do just that, to let us down. The humility of little children is what separates us from them. They serve everyone, regardless of race, color, creed, income level. They see past what their vision shows them. It's almost as if they only see a heart. They only see joy. If you doubt this, go to a preschool or a kindergarten or even a first grade and take a look at these children on the playground. They all play together. There is no division. There is no difference. Those things, unfortunately, are learned as we age. So this gospel today tells us to remember what it was like when we had that faith and trust in, in Jesus, in God the Father, in the presence of the Holy Spirit, in the presence of angels in our everyday life. And to look back at those times and re-grasp them, hold them in our hearts. Because if we do, and when we do, the fear of everyday living will slowly go away and a burning faith will once again emerge as we recognize that all good comes through us from the one above. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is John Herbert. I've been blessed to be the director of Mission Integration, Pastoral Care, and to be the chaplain to these wonderful people at Franciscan Villa, Franciscan Gardens and Courts, and the St. Francis here house here. I welcome you to come and spend time with us if you'd ever wish to. You're always welcome. Have a wonderful 25th weekend in ordinary time. God bless and take care.